Welcome, Cherho High School. This is the lobby, and this is the cafeteria. Food. Okay, this is the main office where you bring your notes and stuff when you have to leave or other things. And this is a hall. There are lots of cool stuff in a hall, <laughs> like all of the health classes and senior lockers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is also where the nurse's office is and A3. You don't want to go to A3. A3 is where the deans are and where kind of in. It's mostly just the deans. Not, not Guided study is A6, which is where you go when you don't finish your work so on time. Do your work on time. So you don't, just you'll get called down during advisory and then you'll have to sit there in silence and get work. Which is not fun. More health classrooms Yay. and then guidance. And guidance. Sorry, and <laughs> in guidance, there is portfolio people, and social workers, offices. guidance counselors, um, department heads, and that's it. Tyler, it is May 29th. The last presentation date is tomorrow, and you are still not done. I pull you out of advisory and you're still not doing anything. Do you not want to graduate? Is this funny? Do you just want to stay here another year? Because that's what's going to happen. Do you need me to call down Mr. Ritchie and have him speak to you? Because at this rate, you are just not going to finish. You're going to be flipping burgers and living in your mom's basement and just getting nothing done. Is that what you want? Because that's what's going to happen. This is B hallway where a lot of the English classes, math classes are, and um, T hallway is attached at the end. Um, girls' bathroom. Most of your classes aren't going to be in the hallway this year, but during your next three years, most of your classes will be in this hallway. That's the Hick hallway in the morning. Stay away from that hallway. Look, free water. Sam, don't. Oh, the ledge! <laughs> this is C Hall, which is basically where you'll be spending all of your time for the entire freshman year. Yes. Um, here is the chorus room, and right next to it over here is the band room. And these are going to be all of your lockers next year, um, so get used to it. And you you're probably going to acclimate in the hallway yes. all the time you and clog everything all up. all your English and so math classes and history classes in here. Basically everything except for gym and, your and science class will be in this hallway. Um, yeah, just no one else is ever going to come in this hallway because it, there's just you guys all the time, so you're never really going to see any upperclassmen in here ever. to stay away from this hallway. Yeah. Um, and it, it, it does smell bad. It kind of so does. That's one of the reasons. So we yeah. should work on showering regularly. <laughs> yes. As a Hey. Hey. You said for graduation? Oh, yeah. You want yeah. some cereal? Yes. Okay, enjoy your day. Thank you. Hey. Where are you coming from? Um, English 9. Where's your path? Uh... which is the coldest place to walk in the school. <laughs> I'm in and out of the breezeway. It's the hall. Come along! You have to walk straight or else you get lost. Over there's the courtyard. Courtyard. If you don't hold the door for somebody, then they get mad because you shut it in their face. Now we're in D Hall, where a lot of the foreign language classrooms are. And business. Down there is E Hall, where all the science classrooms are. That's pretty much it. Let's go there now. This is E Hall. 
Hall. This is where all your science classes will be, except for Miss Stein's biology class, which is still technically in D Hall. <laughs> this is where the sophomore lockers are, and this is where you'll be taking EPS in biology. Uh, if you're in biology your freshman year, um, that's the boys' bathroom that's always locked, as clearly demonstrated by that distressed <laughs> child. Um, it, oh, oh, and if you have a locker in this hallway, it's really terrible because half the time it smells like fetal pig, uh, which is, isn't a good time at all. Physiology ever. classes dissect fetal pigs. Yeah, for it smells the terrible. Of the year. Kind of smells like pig today, actually. I'm starving. Oh my god! Look at the size of the blood vessels. <laughs> For you, Valentine. This is F Hall. This is where the gym is over on this side and the cafeteria on this side. And there are a couple home ec classes where you do like fashion classes, food classes, child growth. Um, those are all half year classes and they're not fun. So. And this hallway connects to G Hall, which is all the art classes and the gym locker rooms where you will change the gym. And the gym fitness center where you, you have to work out sometimes and it's good times. Yeah. A lot of the times the locker rooms are locked in which case you just go through the gym and it's not a big deal. Yes. Except when you're late and then it kind of is a big deal. That's, yes, true. <laughs> So, how do you feel about freshmen? Oh, <laughs> freshmen are a different breed. Uh, they, they need to become acclimated to the high school environment, and I'm glad that that's someone else's job. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's not Very politically correct. <laughs> <laughs> what advice would you give incoming freshmen? Uh, to recognize that it's not middle school anymore. That they now have to actually behave in a different way uh, that is more Good. high school. Thank you, Mr. Lerner. Thank you, oh, you Mr. are so welcome. <laughs> this is Jake Burmer. He's a senior this year, so you'll never see him ever. But uh, what advice would you give to the freshmen? Don't stand in the hallways clogging the hall because then you'll be pushed down and you might be prone to serious injury. And that's all I have to say. Thank you, Jake. You're welcome. This is Ms. Matasha. She's an art and mostly ceramics teacher at the high school. Um, Ms. Matasha, uh, what advice would you give this freshman? Well, Casey, I would like to probably suggest that they take their classes a little more seriously. Most ninth graders don't think about all the way through the high school and what's needed. And a lot of I see a lot of ninth graders not taking the portfolio a little seriously. So I think it'd really be great if they try to put more items in the portfolio so it makes it easier when they're seniors. Well, we're here with uh, Dom Cuddle, who is a senior in uh, the end of May, who still has not presented his graduation portfolio. Um, this is the example of uh, what you do not want to do during your high school career. Um, Dom will not be attending prom this Friday because he did not complete his graduation portfolio on time. Um, Dom, what advice do you give to freshmen? Uh, start your portfolio on time and make sure you're constantly on it and make sure your advisor is constantly helping you. And if they're not, go to Mr. Kelly's office and get help from him because he's really helpful and funny. Um, this is Mr. Pro or Mr. Provencher and I'm going to ask him some questions about, you know, incoming freshmen. So, uh, what advice do you have for eighth voice crack? for 8th graders coming into the school? Uh, I think they should leave their entitlement at the door. They're going to have to work hard. And uh, life as they know it will cease to exist. Alright. You heard the man. So, uh... And be prepared to have a lot of fun, of course. <laughs> I'm here with current freshman Brian Apiece. Brian, do you have any tips for incoming freshmen? Uh... <laughs> Do you have any tips for incoming freshman, Brian? 
uh, study, <laughs> uh, don't haze other kids, it might lead to fights. Haze? What is, what is haze? What's haze? Bullying. Bullying? What happened to you, your whole life? Hi, Megan. Hi. Oh, hey, Dave. Oh. <laughs> Anything else you want to say to the incoming freshmen? I don't know. Uh, good luck. Don't do drugs. <laughs> That's what we say. Thank you. Thanks, 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 Thanks. 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 How do you feel about freshmen? Um, I'm pleased that I'm a hallway away. This is not Elizabeth. Is this actually going to get used somewhere? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we should probably not use this. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, going on YouTube. Woo. Oh, wonderful. Newman's cradle. Newman's balls. Oh. Ready, ready, ready. Sorry. <laughs> Cut that! <laughs> Cut that! <laughs> That's that was good. you got to introduce yourself. He's one of the all-time great meteorology students of all time. <laughs> oh, he's a legend in his own mind. <laughs> Hey, where are you coming from? Uh, English 9? Where's your pass? Uh... <laughs> 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 this, is, this is the lobby. Uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> this is the lobby. <laughs> you know? <laughs> why are you here? I'm not going to yell food at like, what a time? It's like 8.40. Uh... I don't know what to say. Hi, uh, I'm Donald. Do you want me to get cue cards? Oh. We could spell it out in the uh, braille. Oh, Braille. <laughs> Is that what you learned at Cherry High School? Braille. I learned to read Braille with people's hands. I can read Braille with other people's hands. It, I'm proud of that skill. <laughs>